Series fans made it home from the ballpark Monday night, but woke up to a troublesome surprise Tuesday morning. I got to the train station this morning and I saw it in the Enquirer that there was a SEPTA strike and all the trains were really late and mine was very late. My roommate sent me a text this morning to let me know because he knew I had a midterm, so to like give myself a lot of extra time. SEPTA's largest union, Local 234, went on strike at 3 a.m. this morning over contract negotiations for the city. The union has been without contracts since March and wants better pensions, guaranteed job security, and increased wages. Transport Workers Union leader Willie Brown said, quote, This is not just a fight for us. It's a fight for working class people. The strike was postponed from 6 p.m. Saturday evening to this morning, so the World Series traffic would not be affected. But what about the more than 800,000 people who rely on SEPTA to get to work and school every day? I'm on foot, man. These good old, good old Pumas, man, you know. <laughs> Say no, but on foot, I mean, I ain't know nothing about the SEPTA today, so, you know, I don't, like, you heard about it? Yeah, I heard a little, a little bit about it, but, it's, but we walking. We usually take the bus up here, but today we had to walk because no bus is running right now. There are no city buses, subways, or trolleys in operation at this time. The regional rail, suburban transit, paratransit, and Lucy lines are still running, but beware, they are expected to have some delays due to the increase in riders, and people are packed like sardines in train cars. Many commuters opted to drive into the city, making parking scarce on car-filled streets. For the latest updates online, go to twitter.com slash septa. With Temple TV News, I'm Michelle Preventer.